How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Another bit of an update video talking about a few things that have come up lately in the Forza Horizon world, some leaks, some upcoming features, some returning things, just a bunch of stuff like that. Mainly all about Series 14, which will come out within the next few weeks. So yeah, if you enjoy videos like this, please do consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the latest leaks and information about the game. So what have we got? Well, you may remember in the update that's just released for Horizon 5, it is a 10 year anniversary and they are celebrating this by giving us a different loading screen per week. So the first week is gonna have a Forza Horizon 1 loading screen, the second week is gonna have a Forza Horizon 2 loading screen and so on and so on. Well, people have managed to get access and view these loading screens early. And there are two cars that are seen within the loading screen cinematics that aren't actually in the game yet. First car is the Pagani Huayra. This car is not in Forza Horizon 5, it has not returned yet, and it can be seen in the Forza Horizon 1 loading screen that's on the game as we speak right now. This is actually the second time that they have shown us the Pagani Huayra in Horizon 5, even though we can't drive it yet. And many months ago, there was a TikTok on the official Horizon 5 page that was just of the Pagani Huayra, and we don't have it in the game yet and now they put it in the Forza Horizon 1 loading screen. So I really don't know where we've not got this car yet. It's obviously in the game. Maybe there's licensing issues, maybe we'll get it at some point, but it's certainly interesting to see. But now there's another car and it is in the Forza Horizon 2 loading screen, which I believe will be next week. Um, spoiler alert, I'm about to show a screenshot of the Forza Horizon 2 loading screen, which isn't out yet. But you can see here on the car that's closest to the camera, that's the Aston Martin Vanquish from 2012. This is another car that's not in Horizon 5, it's not returned to the game yet, but it's very obviously still in the game, it's in the cinematic. So there's a two cars spotted, may we get those two cars at some point? It's certainly very possible, I can now add the Aston Martin Vanquish to the leaked car list. They've teased to them recently, maybe they're coming within the next couple of updates. Now the next talking point is the coming soon page. We know at the end of every festival playlist is a coming soon page and it tells us what coming, what's coming next. And we can see for series 14, which is obviously next month, it is going to be the Donut Media update. Now we were expecting this in November or December. We can see now it's coming in November. And we can see it's got four things. Mystery item, mystery item, mystery item, mystery item. Now we actually know what these mystery items are, as if we view the game now, they no longer say mystery items, they actually give us a bit more details. And this is what it says. We can see on the left, it says Donut Media Story. Now we already this sort of knew that a Donut Media Horizon Story was going to come to the game. We now have confirmation that it is in a Horizon Story. Second one, new cars. Hopefully they're actually new cars this time as lots of people were disappointed that in series 13, we didn't get any new to Forza cars. So hopefully, fingers crossed for Series 14. Donut Media Playlist. I'm going to presume this is a festival playlist that's Donut Media themed. That's the, that's what I would guess. Do you guys think Donut Media Playlist means anything else? Or is it just sort of a Donut Media themed festival playlist? That's something to talk about. But the very good one, Rocket Bunny Body Kits. I would say this probably means that Rocket Bunny is finally returning to Forza Horizon 5. Now we have no details of how many Rocket Bunny cars are coming. Is it going to be the same ones as the previous games? Just a few, more of them, we're not entirely sure. So far it seems like Playroom Games are doing a great job of bringing back things that weren't in the game at launch. Bringing back cars that people have missed, body kits have now returned. In the previous Horizon game, Toyota and Mitsubishi returned. It seems like they're actually quite good at bringing things back and Rocket Bunny is one of the things that I think a lot of you and me have been missing from the game. Do you guys think any new Rocket Bunny body kits are going to appear or are they just going to be the same? What do you reckon? What do you hope for? As much as we know right now, Rocket Bunny body kits are returning. Now there's a couple of more things I want to show you. We know that the festival playlist coming soon page, as we can see here, it has the little widgets, the little circles that show what's coming. Now in the past we have had a few of them leaked, such as this one right here, but this one we haven't seen used yet. We're still waiting to find out what this is going to be in a feature in an upcoming series. Well we've had a few more of them leaked as well, and that is these two. Now these two were leaked in the files just a couple of days ago within the new update. And the first one, this one right here, we believe we know what this one is. This is believed to be a stocky collectible. Now what's a stocky collectible? As far as I'm aware, stocky collectible is a collectible physical mini miniature car 
that Donut Media have sort of crowdfunded. Do you know what I mean? They want to make a product of these miniature little collectible cars. As we can see, the Honda Integra on screen. It got fully funded in eight hours. It is from Donut Media. And it seems like this little icon looks exactly like that. So are we getting a stocky collectible car in Forza Horizon 5? I don't really understand how this could tie into Forza. I don't know if we're going to be able to drive these miniature little collectibles, if we're going to have to find them around the map, if they're related to the story. What's confusing me is this obviously isn't on the festival playlist. Instead, we got these four, and obviously the, um, the little icon here isn't on this list. So I don't know, maybe in the next update, so not November, maybe in December, we're getting even more donut media related things, such as these stocky collectible cars. As I say, I have no idea what we're going to get to do with them, how it's going to work. What do you guys think? I'm intrigued. It would be pretty damn cool if we could drive these around the Forza Horizon 5 track, but I find that very unlikely. Although, it does lead me to talk about the next one, which is this one that I showed. Now, this doesn't look like much at first, but this is actually called the file name Test Track. Now that does sound cool. Now this just opens a world of rumours and speculations of what test track could be. Are we going to get a, an entirely new area of the map, an extension to the map that's a test track that we can take cars to and just mess around with? Uh, is the test track going to be a new area where we can take these miniature stocky collectibles and drive around on this miniature, uh, miniature test track? Lots of possibilities. There's also another possibility that's going to be an evolving world type thing. So for example, we know the stadium on Horizon 5 is a prime evolving world location. They do make it all Christmassy at Christmas. Maybe they're going to build a miniature test track within the stadium that we can go and drive around on. That seems a bit underwhelming to me. They're just going to turn a stadium into a little chess track. We've already got plenty of test tracks around the map anyway, which leads me to believe maybe it is something different. Maybe it's something big and it might be related to these stocky collectibles. It all seems to piece together. I do need to remind you that this stocky collectible image and the test track image we might not see in the game for several months now. We've been waiting for this one to come for a very long time. I think there's a couple of others that we've not even seen yet. So these are all, they might just be jokes. There might be red herrings that Playground Games are putting in the files to throw us off. We'll find out in due time. I do think the stocky collectible one is interesting because it ties up with Donut Media and we know Donut Media is coming. So, and another reminder, we have the massive Illuminati Illuminator update coming as well. Um, if you don't know, a couple of weeks ago, we had a huge leak in Horizon 5 where we think we're going to be getting duos in the Eliminator with an Illuminati update, lots of leaked sound files. I did a video on that a couple of weeks ago. We're still waiting on that. That might be in December, January. There's just lots to come and this just adds to it. So let me know what you're looking forward to the most and what you're hoping to see next. We'll find out in due time. That's everything for today, guys. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later. Uh -huh.